And this morning, Senate Democrats are demanding answers following the firing of former FBI Director James Comey. Yeah, this is questions arise about who's now going to lead the investigation into Russia's involvement in the presidential election. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joining us live in the control room with a look at what is next for the agency. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. This morning, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer is calling Comey's firing a big mistake, and he's asking all senators to be in their chairs in the Senate floor at the start of business today. Now, James Comey boarded a plane back to Washington after reportedly learning of his dismissal on television while meeting with agents in Los Angeles. A letter sent by President Trump to Comey reads in part, quote, while I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the bureau, end quote. Comey was leading the bureau as it probes possible ties between the Trump administration and Russian attempts to tilt the election in the president's favor. Trump's decision set off a firestorm on Capitol Hill with Democrats calling for a special prosecutor to now oversee the ongoing investigation. The idea of him being replaced, you know, is, is news to me. Am I surprised by it? Not necessarily. And I think that it's important that wherever we have, whoever steps into that role, enjoys the support and confidence of the American public. And moving forward, we, we need to make sure that whoever fills this position is someone independent and uh, capable of carrying the investigation to its uh, rightful conclusion. Now, the Trump administration maintains that the Comey firing was based mainly on his handling, or in their view, mishandling of the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Now, Comey was more than three years into his 10-year term on the FBI. He'd been appointed by President Obama, deputy FBI director has now stepped into that role. That gentleman's name is Andrew McCabe. He is not expected to be the long-term replacement, though. Reporting live in the control room, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Lionel, Aaron? All right, a lot of developments. Mike, thank you.